Okay, this is gonna be a really quick one. I just wanted to share with you um, how I actually write solutions uh, when I'm using Microsoft Azure. Um, I try and use platform as a service as often as possible. Um, so let's just look at kind of how I would set up a project. So if we look at something like blob storage, um, this is a service that you know Microsoft is running and, and offers to you. Um, they have like an SDK layer, um, so like C sharp for the actual calls. Um, but it's completely generic, right? So the idea here being that in their SDK you can like upload a string or you can upload binary, you know, you can do really whatever you want. So let's just say in the blob storage I have a container and I wanted to store companies in JSON format. That's where I would step up to the plate um, and write what I would call kind of an, an SDK in terms of in, an internal use um, SDK for you know storing those company objects. And so all I would do um, would be to put all those like you know if company doesn't have an identifier or like all those business logic things that really kind of gate how you can use that container. Um, and then this would get distributed through NuGet for the entire company to use, right? So this is this handles your versioning um, and allows like multiple developers. Um, to pull that new package and work with it, right? And so as this gets updated, you can push that down um, to the rest of the company and make sure that they're interacting with those blobs accordingly. Um, so this piece would be something that I would write, um, and then that's how I would distribute it um, across the teams uh, internally. Um, I think this is a really good pattern. Um, you know, what, I, what I've seen in the past is other people standing up um, APIs, um, and even just for like internal usage. And I just think this is way too much overhead. You're, getting, you're doing way too much HTTP work. Um, but also because it's an API, you're writing code here and you'll typically have a client as well. Um, so the amount of exposure you have on the code side and work is just like hugely great. Um, so I just recommend get really good at having nice little simple um, business logic SDKs that are actually consuming uh, like the storage technology of your choice. Um, and then it becomes really easy that um, if tomorrow you decide that companies um, shouldn't be stored in blob, they should be stored in table, um, you could update your SDK, migrate that data, and then none of your clients would even be aware that that changed. So it's a good, good way to do encapsulation at, at, at that level too. Anyways, I just wanted to get you thinking about how you're writing software and distributing it within your own company. I hope this was helpful. Please feel free to give me a Twitter at JeffKingABC. Anyways, take care. Bye.